Well, it's been a long road with many bumps along the way, but today city leaders gathered to break ground on a new electrical substation for the New Orleans Sewage and Water Board. Now, we detail the problems surrounding the utility's current unreliable turbine generators in our series down the drain. When completed in two years, the West End Power Complex will become the primary source of power for city drainage and water distribution. Paul Murphy joining us now at the uh, utility's main plant with more on that story. Paul. Sharice, whether it is flooded streets after a storm or boil water advisories, just about everyone in New Orleans has felt the pain of unreliable power at the sewage and water board. The head of the utility admits without substantial upgrades like the new power substation, every day that goes by increases the risk of equipment failure. The New Orleans Sewage and Water Board now creates most of the electricity it needs to drain the city and distribute clean water. It does so with steam and combustion turbine generators, some of which were built more than a century ago. Obviously, the goal is to replace all of our old turbines that have been, you know, they have served the city very well, but their time has come. Monday, city leaders gathered to break ground on a modern electrical substation on the grounds of the water board's main plant. It would replace the antiquated and outdated turbines now prone to failure. And this project will bring reliability, durability, efficiency, and much needed redundancy. We all know what that means in our city. What it hopefully means for the city is fewer flooding events and boil water advisories that come when the sewage and water board doesn't have enough electricity to power its pumps. And this is something that we've needed for decades, but it's also something that we will be able to look back on and see that it truly did transform the city of New Orleans for generations. Entergy New Orleans will operate what's being called the West Power Complex. ENO President Deanna Rodriguez admitted the partnership with the city and water board has been bumpy at times. Last year, Entergy backed out of its $30 million commitment to the project. Ida happened, and that created a, a very different economic environment, not just for our customers, but for the company as well. The estimated $300 million price tag on the substation will now be funded by a mix of local, state, and federal dollars. We're hoping to get the substation work with working with Entergy by the end of next year and our piece of equipment will fall you know in line either at the same time or a little bit beyond. So if all goes as planned the West Power Complex is expected to be up and running by mid 2024. We're live in the Carrollton neighborhood. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Hopefully this brings about some great change that we need here. Paul, thank you so much.